Hi, my name is Kat Betsic and uh, I'm from Ableton. This is five questions with She Knows Tech. So to tell you a little bit about myself, I'm originally from Belgrade, Serbia, um, but I have been living in Berlin for the last three years, working for Ableton as a head of social channels and um, as well as a loop communications manager and uh, I look after the diversity initiative to bring more women into music production. Before that I lived in London for 11 years working for uh, Google. After working in digital marketing um, at Google for seven years I wanted to pursue my passion for music and to try to find a, a role where I can merge this knowledge that I have from um, the communications world and from tech world uh, coupled with and coupled it with my passion for music and I managed to do so in this uh, role as a head of social channels at um, Ableton so that's it Generally speaking, uh, people who inspire me are independent thinkers, people who uh, are not afraid to uh, follow their own path and um, not follow everyone else. Um, so I have three examples, one of which is uh, from the music world, that's Regine Murphy, who used to be a lead singer for Moloko a band from the UK, um, however she has a solo career at the moment and um, she's been um, around for a while but her music was initially kind of criticized as um, too, too strange or uh, too niche, um, however she persisted with this and um, still managed to put out an amazing album and um, in her own style which I very very uh, which I very much admire. Uh, the second example is Vivian Westwood, uh, fashion designer also from uh, the UK. Um, I respect her work a lot because she started out with nothing just selling jewelry uh, on Portobello Road uh, on the market and now uh, she has uh, built a huge brand that stands for uh, very good values. Uh, she propagates a lot uh, climate change and uh, fair trade and um, she speaks a lot about the importance of culture especially amongst the young people. And the last example is my fellow countryman Novak Djokovic, the, number, the former number one tennis player in the world who was an underdog for a very very long time uh, with very tough competition around him and he managed to overcome this uh, despite uh, half of the world being um, against him and supporting all the other players. However, his pure persistence and, and um, power led him to become and maintain his number one position for a very long time. I think right now is um, that positive moment um, for women in music tech or in music in general. Uh, considering that there is a lot of momentum happening in, uh, in society and in the industries we're in um, because change is necessary and um, there's a lot of support uh, from men as well as uh, women and a lot of new organizations uh, like yours uh, starting to emerge uh, to help other women and to create environments where um, diversity is more appreciated than it was in the past. So um, in terms of the negative experiences, of course, uh, these have happened in the past, especially uh, during my younger years at Google. Um, however, I never really put too much emphasis on it in terms of this kind of gender um, inequality I always kind of perceived that as a, as a personal thing but now looking back perhaps it was there was a situation or, or two where um, I could have taken it seriously uh, a bit more seriously and and try to iron out this this gap however I just powered through it and uh, didn't really um, let it I, I let it brush off me my value, I truly believe that knowledge is the power and that um, the work you do will speak for yourself. 
uh, that you don't need to shout too loud, um, that your, your work will shout for you. And um, besides this, um, standing up for yourself and sticking to your own um, guns is, uh, and being very persistent with it is something that I already mentioned in the examples of inspiring uh, people. Looking back on my past, um, I don't think I would give myself an advice that would change uh, the way I did things, uh, considering that um, the mistakes that I, uh, happened uh, or that I made led me to be where I am today, partly because I learned from them and I'm trying not to repeat them uh, again and partly because um, they took me on a different path in life and um, thankfully uh, I am where I am today. Uh, so learning from my own failures and perhaps an advice that I would give myself here is to um, dwell a little bit more on, on these mistakes and on my, on my steps and kind of take things a bit slower rather than uh, rushing to uh, uh, quick conclusions and decisions as I might have done in the past.